This tunnel leads to the longhouse. A traitor marked it with a yellow cross. Then opened the way and let them in. The traitor must have exited here with a few more, heading away towards the riverbank. A trail of yellow paint drops. What do you see? My poor fields. God, why did you send so much ver- Someone hauled this bucket of yellow paint all the way down to the riverbank. They quickly painted a longship beached here. Then they sailed off, with allies to help crew the vessel. My poor fields. God. Tough lands, old man? Those rats. I tried everything. I poured lye, I harvested locusts, I hired children to kill them. I need an army of miracles. They are pesky and have ravaged your good crop. No, nah, the gods can't get at rats. Ha! You heathens and your gods. All I want is to rid my field of rats. Feed the fair folk of the Shire. You need natural warriors to keep them at bay. My poor fields. God, why did you send so much vermin? <laughs> Rat! 
Let's be gone! Blasted, cursed, horrible rat! I feel your army of cats have a destiny unrealized. You are a Freya of the Fens. What? Who the hell is Freya? Is she the whore that tried to eat my cat queen last week? She is a goddess, much like you, with pious and mighty cats that help her fight. Show your claws, good lady. Oh yes, mighty. That is what they are, and me, their goddess. Hmm. If you want, use this key and see for yourself. Ooh, my pretty babies. There you are. Head to the fields. Tat tat. Fight your battle. Cats are sacred beings. They help keep harmony. Your rat problem has been taken care of. Pray to Freya. I never thought the meow of cats could soothe my soul. Take this key. In my house I have some goods. Please help yourself. Did anything strange happen before the attack on Grandridge? I saw two Saxons riding past the city while I was on guard. One to the Melbourne Monastery and one toward the uh, Utbeck camp. I think they were messengers. I didn't think anything of it since they weren't coming here.
Did you see anything the night of the attack? Only Lif, fighting bravely. Did you know Lif carves a poem in each of his longships? He's a craftsman and a wordsmith. Where are these longships now? Lost in the fog of the Fenlands, sadly. If I could reclaim them, I would. To return his works of art, he'd be so grateful. To be sure. Good luck to you. Could now drink me. Ah, uh, sink it faster than me. You are the winner. Let's see your silver. Oh, Lynn. Man your horn. I have an iron stomach and a powerful <laughs> thirst. Shout! 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 
Come on, I need the challenger! You, Dane, come closer. What do you want? You look to be a good fighter, but do you dare to face the greatest battle you will ever know? Of what do you speak? I speak of a terrible and monstrous incorporeal power whose name is feared across these lands. Fergal the Faceless, the most fearsome flighter in all of Grantbridgeshire. Ooh. Ooh. A flighter? Is that all? Fergal the Faceless has silenced doubters before. Will you challenge him? I will face the Faceless. <gasps> My god! You are braver than most. Or perhaps more foolish. Come, I will give you a key. This key unlocks Fergal's lair, which you see now before you. That is a house. No, no, it is a death By words. Unharmed by words. Go, go now, and God be with you. A new victim? What fool dares to challenge the might of Fergal the Faceless? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor of the Raven Clan? My next meal. Are you prepared to be eviscerated with words? I think I will survive. I am Fergal the Faceless, and I am clever and strong. But you're not. You're ugly and weak, and you're a big smelly coward. You're probably too scared to even face me, now that I think about it. Sorry, have you started? Yes, obviously. I said you're probably too scared to face me. It's the weakest attempt I have yet heard to disgrace me. Ah, you think you can win with rhyme, do you? Well, if you like to rhyme, listen this time. I'm very brave. My flighting is grave. I'm not a knave, and it's victory that I really crave. Your tongue is fat. You're a sprat. You whine like a little brat. And we are in a spat. Says the flighter who hides in a hole like a rat. 
Oh, you've made a terrible mistake. Be ready for my finishing blow. I am the best at flighting. I have got powerful skills. I'm strong as an ox and clever as a fox. I'm sharp as a dozen hawks. Let me show you my skills, and then you I shall kill dead with my... my skill. While it's quaint that you think you can best me, I must say I don't think you will. You... Uh, well... I... Uh, just one moment. I... I... I need to think. Give me time. Ferkel the faceless, or Ferkel the wordless? No, you get ready. The killing blow is... It's coming. It's... Ferkel? Hello? side. gets longer, the nails grow, <laughs> even when... Eivor, my muscle-banded friend! There's a nest of Wigman's men just here. We're going to pick it clean. Every last one. The fewer lies in the bush, the less itchy the pussycat. That's how I see it. What do you think of Soma's other warriors? Galen and Leaf? Oh, Leaf's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. He brays about being honorable, but I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this self-importance that is just so charming. How did you come to join Zoma's army? I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Uppa, smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes alike. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy, but it taught me how to bear the pain. I just laughed it away. When Soma took me in, she saw more than a smuggler in me. I was useful to something greater than myself. Useful to her vision. In a world where few saw you as worthy of trust, she's one who did. Right. 
And I love that about her. I love... everything about her. You seem to bring life and spirit to this clan. Does Soma feel the same? If I knew what was going on in another person's head, I'd find life dreadful and dull. But Soma seems to enjoy my company. In what way? Her own way. Just not in the way I'd like. Painful truths are easy to bear when you can laugh, you see. Delight in the face of suffering is an act of rebellion. We could talk all day, but these Saxons may fly from their nest. You and I should take a closer look. My men will hang back and come running if things go sideways. <laughs> Fighting beside you should bring a thrill. Happy I can see it up close. Don't get too close. I might black your eye or bruise your head. <laughs> You'd lose your elbow before the bruises showed. Of options, dog. That's all of them.
Ah, the solitude of after... You fought very well, Bienna. Is that how you flirt, Eivor? Is that how I what? Easy now, Drenger. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. Soma has only ever pleased the gods. Asserting her now, breaking your oath, 
Eivor, I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. My body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer, taken in by Saxons and spat out again and again until Soma found me, naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me, humbled as I was. I owe her my life. Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain. A lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled, and Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another, tightly. I know I can seem distant, obsessed. But the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others? Leif and Vienna? Leif? He's a talented sailor, if a little enthusiastic. And Birna? Well, Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living on lies. Birna is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. I'm eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Light your torches and set your arrow tips ablaze anywhere. Red enemy of the branch will make quick work of this place. Unburned. For licking Elderman Whitman's boots.
Burning roof thatch and a heady turf fire. That was something. Wakeman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery suitor himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga. as much air as a hailstorm. We cannot be allowed to keep spewing. Eivor! A fine day for being out, no? 
It's almost that I would find you here, Leaf. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elder Man and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in, gut the priest, and return to Soma. That will get Wickman steaming. How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum. The great summer army, the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. And what would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrum made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows trade. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paints some weeks ago. Blasted thief. Good conversation, Leif. Now let's take down Wickman's man. Too right, too right. Wickman's whelp awaits his reward. My warriors will distract the Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest. You know, I would much prefer a more straightforward approach. But for you, I'll try something new. How kind. I'll keep your voice down. in the Shire anymore. We should leave. Let's 
Well struck. We made short work of Whitman's man. That we did. You've proven yourself an asset to us. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. Nothing out of me. Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around Euroli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now, and water the orchards with his blood. No, oh, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear! Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane halfwits! The lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> That home-thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. What did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely. Hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? I found a message meant for Saxon forces. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. There's no yellow on our longships beyond some small details. If there is a yellow longship in the fence, I want to know.
Your secret tunnel had many footprints nearby, and its mouth was painted with a yellow mark. Whoever betrayed you, they did so by marking the tunnel entrance, then opening the way to let the Saxons in. Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. Birna used to be a smuggler, hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead, and to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Leif disagrees with how you run Grandbridge. This city thrives under me, as a bustling port for his longships, for instance. Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. I found an empty barrel of yellow paint beside a longboat launch. Yellow paint was used to mark a boat the night of the attack. An odd time for a fresh coat of paint. But that's his work, is it not? Garland puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape, and Garland sees an important meaning. Garland told me he was near death when you found him and saved his life. Yes. People thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? I need more time to think. Of course. Feel free to search the Shire for clues, and speak to anyone you wish. Thor himself could now drink me! Dock the ship here. your oars! Run up the sail! Sing! Down! 
I had my eyes. I would. Alfheimer, you say? Have you drunk a seer's concoction? No. I am as blind as they come. However, the light elves guide me through this realm, and I sense it. The path is fraught with delight. Energies the light elves dropped. And at the end, the third paradise. Wind blew. The wind blew. Higher than all the realms. Higher than Valhalla itself. I used the magic balls of Muspel, lit by the light elves to guide me. We will see the wind blew together. Please illuminate the path into Elfheimer. Ah. Uh. Ah, I sense the Light Elves, the luxury of their strong souls. Here they are. Are you from here? I hail from Zila. Joined Guthrum on his march through the swamps. But losing my eyes... They left me behind. Your family? Friends? They are back in Zealand. But no need. I have the Light Elves whom love care for me now. Final leg to this journey. Yes. This is the path. The wind blew is across the Swan Road. I can see it. The river steed will be needed to cross. any unwanted attention from the Dark Elves. Oh, how they haunt me. I should be cautious around here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Have your wind blew now. In peace, old Ringer. Ah, yes. The realm is safe. For now. Hey, Dringer. Sing us a song.
as long as she can handle the bandits. The survivors ran into the fog, pursued by half the party, while the other bandits looted it. This carving references Galen in verse. This longship is splashed with yellow paint. Quick job. Why would it be painted a different color than the others? Look soon. Eivor! Military
blessing to one who has traveled far. To he who enters from the cold with frozen legs in need of food and clothing. Smells of burnt peat. Desecrated. Peats I've rarely seen. What battle spit you out? have come for spoils. Was our dignity not enough? You return again to mock our family. 
to make light of my father's sacrifice. <clears throat> Matt Seer, you have no fight with me. Which of the traitor kings sent you? Was it Edmund? Burgred? Allah? I follow the orders of no king, nor will I bow to you. You dare intrude? You will be skinned like the others! I will tear you apart! You will not infect me! This is a place for pra- Hi, monk. No need to brag of your faith. Have you recently tested your faith? Considered the holy path? It is a better way, I swear to you. I am content with my guards. Not as content as I am with mine, I am sure. He allows me to avoid rage. I am never angry. Never. Good for you. Without anger in my life, I am completely changed, no longer obsessed with riches like you. They are meaningless because he loves me. Go ahead and burn my house. Destroy my belongings. I will never get angry. Heathen, this is a place for proud converts like myself. I... Yes, burn it. Make a pyre of the past. I see those who wish to join the great and the superior holy path I <laughs> Go ahead, destroy all. My faith cannot be broken. Thank you, Lord. 
Yes, go ahead my crates and take my belongings inside them. God provides me enough. You see, I am not angry. Make yourself at home. It does not bother me. You will soon change from your pagan ways. Go ahead and slaughter my lifestyle. It is not something I wish to do, but I would gladly allow all of this homestead. The lifestyle. This is all yours. They are not mine, but God's. I have converted to God, and now, now I share all things. Yes, you mentioned that. Curious, good man. What were you before you became so devout? I was just like you. A stupid heathen. Lost and violent. Speaking of which, you should try praying before it is too late. Too late? For what? The eternal buckery you possess? And now you stand. Don't worry, that stool is covered in shit. What is this? Oh no, that's... That key. Do what you like with it. Throw it in the river. My faith will not burn. This hut reeks. As if... A battlefield. Corpses. Are these your other converts? Or, or your past crimes. You desecrate integrity by insinuating such. But my faith cannot be desecrated. Praise be to my lord. Praise be to nothing. What crimes lie beneath your veil of Christ? What crimes have you gotten away with? You are no convert. You are a filthy opportunist. The church gave you riches. I am a strong, Christian, mild-mannered man of the cloth. My pagan past is gone. I am... A hypocrite, but not a shred of honor. You should pay for your crimes. People die unjustly in your newfound faith. I gave you a chance, heathen. I am a better, richer man for what I did. I changed course and... Fuck it! I am still the blood-hungry whore I once was! Fucking die, you putrid shit-eater! Die a thousand ways and times like the others! You would have sworn an oath to a pile of shit, you liar, full of false pride. You should be judged at an all thing for your crimes. I was willing to give everything away. Often those who have taken too much.
I must be careful now.
What ails my mind? Must be a hangover. My head ain't over here. Good warrior. Hi, stranger. Excuse me. I have a slight pain. Do you notice anything on my head? It's a, an itch or a cut that simply won't go away. It appears to be a, a battle scar. Ah. As I suspected. It must be from my most recent battle. You should see the other man. He got the worst of it. Worse than... I suppose it's possible, yes? If he's headless? My arms are numb from battle. Does it need any dressing? Do you think it is a serious wound? Good Drenga, you have an axe in your head. It is grim. I will take it out, but you will surely head off to the next realm soon. Ah, Valhalla it is. I appreciate your candid response. Now I prepare myself for the sights and sounds of the Corpse Hall. I will relieve you of the pain it gives you. Send you down the Bifrost. It is time. You know... There's a great mead hall. All your enemies have been slain. Now, you rejoice.
Shot looks Get back to the ship. My child, your home is cursed with shit. I wish I could laugh, but... I cannot. Yes, that rank odor is from the devil. The devil who produced me with this prick. Oh, that smell. He dips his arrows in cow dung and never washes. Says it brings him luck. We're doomed to choke in father's shithouse. 
The cow dung he keeps is in those crates. It has mutated into the most unholy of pungent monsters. Oh, oh. Be careful in that strange house. Smells like a trap. <laughs> Yes, once free of those disgusting dung crates, the house will be clean again. He is buried for the only thing to keep me alive in the face of such a vile smell. The stink from those crates is gone, but in my experience, if you do not cure the sauce, shit returns. My father, Diggolas, he's a famous archer, but he never washes. Never. I'm going to confront him, that pox. Mother, I'm going to get your father back. I've had enough. Change is in the air. of mud and might. Soon, my clan of mud warriors will enlist me again. Need to be careful, Ash. Again, my beautiful Degolas. My love, you are finally clean. Our home also. Come here. How does it feel to be clean again, Degolas? This clean feeling is strange to me. I was happy as a degenerate mud ball. I never worried about these vain ventures. Your desires are not always those of your gods, your family, and your, well, those you lie with. I feel I've sold my war yourself. The grime inspired my bow. My shit arrows would strike fear into my foe's... nose. Well, I'm certain your arrows will still fly true. You did not lose your archer skill. Only time will tell. Be well, stranger. Thank the good lord! Have time. Degolas. My love, you are finally clean. Our home also. Come here, my love. I can see your skin again.
They will attack on sight here. Run up the sail! Strike up a two. Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steed my words gain wings. Oh, then speed I forth will bring For noble deeds thine honor sing The brave man slain Valkyrie away We will down to hold on the
forever. I made you what you are. My principles led to your great nudity. To all tyrants of garb, <laughs> let it be known you are vile garment mongers. And you will not... Why are you naked? Because my uncompromising lack of clothes brings me joy. Yet my very own sect of pious nudists tossed me aside. Nudists? Those who bear their skin for pleasure? Indeed, we, we bear our skin at all times, in the tradition of great Greeks and Romans. Yet some say I am too... enthusiastic. Nude in prayer, at mealtimes, at work, in the streets and alehouses, everywhere. For Jesus loves us best as we were born. But the group I founded has expelled me. Oh, if I could exact revenge, steal their clothes and render them nude forever, I would. Great where we put our clothes. Feel greetings, Dane. This is our private celebration of skin. We are open to all who strip. Would you join us? I met a man who claimed to have created this club. What happened to him? Oh, Winchell. Yes. He was a bit too um <clears throat> assertive for us. He was overly tempted by bare flesh. So we had to send him away. I would be honored to join your group. Where do I place my clothes so I can start dancing? Wonderful! A new member. Simply place your clothes in that crate hidden by the tent and partake in the liberation. Oh, that's the crate where we put our clothes. Feel free to store yours in there, too. Just put your... Hey! Stop that! Put it down! Now you're nude forever, as Winchell wanted. Crate where we put our just put your hey, stop that. Ah! <sighs> 
Now you're nude forever. It's when you want it. Now they will adhere to your principles. Yes! You have carried out my revenge. Wonderful! Now they must revel in their nudeness forever. If you like, I have a luminous text with my teachings. A breviary of why one must trust their body's exposed sinew. Enjoy. Be well, when chill the chest tree.
attacked! Did you find enough clues around Grampridgeshire? Are you ready to choose the traitor? I found Gallen's longboat painted hastily with yellow paint on the day of the attack. Why would he mark his longboat differently from the rest of ours? Garland puts his visions above everything. Visions are like clouds. Garland told me he was near death when... Yes. People thought him cursed. I found Garland's longboat painted hastily with yellow paint on the day of the attack. Why would he mark his longboat differently from the... That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Garland betrayed you. Are you certain? Leave betrayed you. Are you certain? Birna betrayed you. Are you certain? Garland betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. 
Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen, you have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny, carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! <gasps> He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wickman deserves death, but killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder, and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. Gahor himself could now drink me! I saw her, just in case.
altar is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. Show me. He's hiding at the summit of the hill. I can smell him. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Lightning tingles my blood, Eivor. I hear the voices of my slaughtered people on the air, calling Wigman's name. Best brace my hood. He doesn't leave this monastery alive. me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me. That is no way to go for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield! 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 If your hell is real, I'm glad you'll get to see it. That will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, so the end of the storm is well in sight. You're right. I know you're right. 
It's just... It's difficult to see that man when you're still in Storm's eye. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone. Even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. Soma Yalskona, my deepest thanks. And, there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all thought hard. And now Grand Brit is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grand Bridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who would it? I'll be happy to have you, Drenga. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. like to see what you have in stock. All my pieces are good, but that one's very good.
I do good work. I have to go. See you soon. Now it seems be the well, my friend. Back to Randy. Best. Well, we are allied with the Danes of Granderbridge Shire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. Good day! A new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello! Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus. You look upon Redda. He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. You seem strangely familiar. Perhaps we have met in another life. But most likely, I have a common face. And what is it I can do for you? Or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. Now look here! Browse what wares I have on offer. For now, no matter. My now that you are friends with me, you are. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. 
You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. See you, old friend. With this, we can recruit more warriors. Where did the others go? Use your tongue, warriors. or I will feed it to you! Ah. With this, we can recruit more warriors. Now I can build the most of it. Do you want to die, thief? Tell me about what you do here. Whatever you need for your longship, my husband and I are happy to help. We have quite an eye for these things. Nothing else for you today. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Until next we meet. Avar, you really are a generous one. What is happening over there? No good can come of this. What has gotten into them? Others go. Eivor, you should hear this. Ah, uh, this Bakrat and his friends had the foolish balls to raid Ravensthorpe. Are the others dead? A few. Most of them escaped. They did not damage much, but made off with some of our gear. Should I get Ranvi? No. She has enough on her table. I will handle this. So, you thought you would play at Vikinger, little man. Are you prepared to go all the way? You won't get anything out of me, Danish scum. I'll never talk. I'm Norse. And what makes you think I want to hear you talk? Maybe I will take my payment in flesh. Chop off his leg. It does not have to be a clean cut. No need to sharpen your blade. No, please! Don't cut off my leg! It was Sir Edward who wanted your stuff! He paid us to do it! Sir Edward? Yes, the Earl of Westerner! Or, or that's what he calls himself. Said he hates Vikings, your lot especially. Where can I find this Sir Edward, Earl of Westerner? I don't know, I'm new! We were supposed to steal the gear, then meet at the longship west of Ravensburg. That's all I know! You can take him to Randry now. Maybe we can trade him for a pig. I am off to check out this longship.
that it? I must take my leave. So long. Goodbye, Eivor. Good day, Eivor. Ah, Warlock. I know this game well. Sit, sit. The dice won't roll themselves. Let us play. Straight and to the point. May the best hand win. Need something? This will do. Feed is evident.
This will do. enough all out for now. Orlok, I'm in... Orlok! Let us be straight and... This will do.
Interesting. My game, stranger. Just give up. You win. Tough luck. Try. I'm not done. This will do. This victory will be mine. You are really good at this.
getting good at this. How did what? No! Again! Another time, perhaps. Count on me, Eivor. I'll show you and the gods my worth. To me, warrior. Let gold and glory be our meat and meat. What do you think you're doing? Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one. would like to reorganize the crew.
down till you need it? All right. Bring out my lieutenant. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. tell of any river champion. Not sure what to make of that. But you're welcome to ask Eivor. Suniva, and stranger, what brings you to our shores? Vaughn and his crew claim to be raiders of great treasures. They seek to join with Ravenstone. If you wish to join us, we only ask for hard work and loyalty. No need of silver or gold. Wouldn't say no to it, either. It is good to meet you, Eivor. And there is more in this for you than precious metals. We may seem weary and ragged, but we know secret routes of England's coasts, where you will find a wealth of resources for Ravensthorpe. You seek to share them with us. Why? When the table is laden with too great a feast, you gather friends round to enjoy. We seek friends and feasting. Let me show you. I will take you out on a raid. Once we repair our ship. I appreciate the offer. And accept it. And... How do you judge our dock? Ah, now that's a dock worthy of our longship. Come and talk to me whenever you are ready to leave. Are you ready to set sail? I'm ready. On to the raid. We will use my crew for the first outing. Easier for me to show you what lies along the river bank. Later, you are welcome to send your own Jom's Vikinger along the paths we travel. Mine could use the rest. smuggling route for Roman traders. She claimed it was useful in hiding their tracks. In fact, it is so well hidden, you could raid your very neighbors and they would never know it was you. Something to think about. Look! There! Villages! Not as a world but well worth the trouble if you're seeking rations for food. Remember, my is like a pack of tricks.
been the Wolves. They will respond to your orders. Give them ready. Return to the ship. That's it! Back to the ship!